childhood wires are a non-standard age-related type of wire, which consists in the fact that the child presents his imagination as reality. Most psychologists think that the phenomenon of children's wire is due to the fact that children under six years cannot always distinguish reality from their fantasy and take the game for reality. A child's lie is a signal that he sends to his parents. After all, he will not lie if everything is his order in his life. It is very important to understand what exactly the need is behind his lie. When faced with lies in children, dads and moms need to know that very often what looks like a deliberate lie in fact is not. The statements of children become a liar only in these cases when the children have a goal to get any benefit. But very often kids can lie quite disinterestedly. This is because kids are trying to make their fantasy world come true in this way. A child with a great imagination always has a tendency to lie. Such a child will always come up with different stories, both fables and stories similar to the truth. And since games for a child are an occupation that is in the first place in his life, he can tell a lie at a completely inappropriate moment, thus letting someone down from his close circle, or even himself. Among the reasons for children's lies are Distrust of a child towards elders The kid is not telling the truth because he is afraid that he may be punished for something. Such fear cannot arise in a baby without any reason. We adults are to blame for this. The second reason for children's lies is the desire to assert themselves. This desire can be caused by non pedagogical doubts towards it. This can manifest itself in embellishing the traits of your character or your family, this desire to present wishful thinking. The third reason for children's fire is open play. Fantasizing on a given topic and without any topic. Also, the reasons for children's lie can be such as the kid is trying to avoid any punishment, attempts to attract the attention of adults, he has a problem that needs to be solved, he avoids stressful situations. Takes an example from his environment both from adults and from children. With age, the reason for fiction become more and more, and deception is more sophisticated. The unwitting culprits of these are adults who are forced to present the child with certain requirements. Often unbearable or create an atmosphere of fear of punishment. Children sometimes begin to lie in order to present themselves in a favorable light if adults have high expectation about them. Or cheating comes to the rescue at the moment when the child needs your permissions from something and he thinks that you will refuse. I conducted a small survey among people in the age range from 25 to 47 years old, mostly already having children. The essence of the survey was to find out how well parents are coping with recognizing the children's law of their own daughters and sons. Unfortunately, 
I didn't manage to shoot this survey, but all the results are recorded. As it turned out, about 95% of respondents rarely successfully cope with recognizing that lie of their own children. Often they either reveal only half of the truth or they don't know it at all. I also decided to show the respondents one video which we had seen in one of the previous couples in which they had to guess which of the children lied and who did tell the truth. Judging by the results of this mini test, it is safe to say that adults really struggle to cope with lie recognition because none of the respondents could guess all the children who are lying or telling the truth. On average, from one to three children were guessed. So we learned a little more about children's lie and their manifestations. That's all for me. Thanks you all for your attention.